If you love uh, romantic novels like I do, and if you read in English, you will surely know some of Christine Bryce's books. Well, it turns out that that is her pen name, and the real one is Ana Gomez. She's actually from Philippines, although she lives in Chicago, and she grew up speaking Spanish, but she confesses her Spanish is a little rusty right now, so we'll, we'll keep <laughs> speaking in English, in my bad English. Uh, under her real name, uh, she has published a book co-written with uh, Christopher Polaha, the Hallmark actor, and is about to publish the second one in the series, both available on Amazon in uh, all over the world. Thank you so much, Anna. Uh, my first question is, uh, why did you decide to sign under your real name for this series of books when you were already well known in the world of romantic literature under your pseudonym? Uh, well, thank you, first of all, Raquel, for having me. It's nice to be here. Um, well, you know, that's 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 an easy question to answer, actually. Um, I've always um, wanted to one day eventually write under my real name, but I have a full time job and a career that I had to separate for a while. And I think um, writing with Christopher Polaha was just the right time to begin thinking about, you know, putting myself out there as, as myself as a full person with having a, um, a crazy career and being an, an author as well. So I think it was just the right time, the right timing. And um, is, is it difficult to work with four hands after spending so many years working alone? And uh, still in a question from Small Town Christmas, one of Christopher movies, how is your creative process? Is one in charge of the plot and the other of the characters? Or did you write on these chapters and Christopher Warren's? How, how did yeah, you so first of all, I think um, working with four hands is probably easier than working by yourself. Um, you know, going into writing for Anna Gomez versus Christine Brewer, I have a very different format. Um, the, the Anna Gomez books are more, as you know, you know, contemporary, wholesome, clean, you know, in terms <laughs> of, <laughs> not that I wrote anything, you know, not clean, mm -hmm. but um, it, it's a little bit more straightforward and a little bit more formulaic because the first, Chris and I really, when we first, when I first wrote the book um, or started writing the book, we thought about it as a hallmark uh, um, type uh, story and then it just evolved so what us working together we realized that we had a little bit more uh, of the story of the characters and just the plot than than what would be something for hallmark it was a little deeper a little more intriguing a little you know a little darker in a lot of sense in, in looking into the characters personalities and so you know we decided you know this is really not hallmark so we're we're kind of shifting that that um, the genre a little bit, but in terms of um, our writing process, it's really funny because I I've never met him in person. So we got together during COVID, and you know we had our first Zoom call, which was very fun, and it was a it ended up feeling like ten minutes when it was more than an hour, and we just had a lot in common. So we also have a, kind of a writing process that we both. Um, just organically happened and that's not that's not thinking of the plot it's thinking of the plot together thinking of the storyline together and then writing a chapter back and forth so what we would do is we would write he would write one chapter and he would send it to me and i would write another chapter to answer his chapter and then send it back to him so in doing that we found that we were in sync in a lot of ways you know in our words in what we wanted the story to evolve as and in how we wanted to define the characters and um, well, we are eagerly awaiting the second book in the collection. <laughs> Is it about Indian Warren again, or has it a different point of view? On, will be more? Will be a third? Will you and Christopher continuing collaborating on other books? Series? Yes, actually, we we agreed on five books, so it's a series. Oh. Of five. <laughs> yeah, and actually, if you read moments like this, we introduced a lot of the main characters that we're going to have for a book, but. Um, we also wanted to make sure that every reader can take each book separately. So each book is a standalone in the sense that it talks about maybe it will delve deeply into another character that we introduced in in moments. Like for book two, it's Adam and Meili. 
um, you know, Adam is Warren's brother and Meili mm -hmm. is the coffee shop uh, barista. And then, um, but they have their own story and it's a straight shoot. It's a, it's a straight line. They have their own story. They have their own plot and they have their own end. So you can interchange the books. You can read one before the other without having to really go in order. And um, I know it, uh, Christopher is going to adapt the novel with his production company. I read that. Will you be involved in the production, in the adaptation of the script, or uh, will be only writing the books and uh, let it with uh, the work with? Uh, to yeah, our... no way. <laughs> <laughs> These are your when kids. I, no, no, no. When I first met him, that's the deal, and that's probably also why I wanted to use my real name because we 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 agreed that we would work with writers and producers but we would have executive producer credits and we would both be 50 50 on the adaptation so another reason why i felt like it was time to use my real name um because it 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 it's more than just writing the book now it's actually bringing the book to life okay thank Muchísimas you gracias, Ana. i'm so honored thank you yeah, gracias también, y tú. <laughs>